Skyrim is one of the standout titles for a deeper long form VR experience and I wanted to do a quick test to see how it runs over Air Link with a Quest 2. I'm running the game in a lightly modded form and you can see my active mods in this list just for your reference. I'm showing both the Oculus performance overlay and the FPS VR overlay on screen at all times during this test so you have all the information open to you. It's probably overkill to include both but there it is. I'm using a dedicated AC route for this test too so if you play Airlink on a Wi-Fi 6 AX router then you might see a slight improvement in latency over what I'm showing here. I'm running the game on an RTX 3080 based system but you can check out my full system specs in the description to this video. I've run through three Airlink settings in this test just to give a general idea of what you can expect. The first is 90Hz at a default resolution of 3712 by 1872 then I try 120Hz at a default resolution of 3200 by 1700 and finally I go back to 90Hz but this time increasing super sampling to 1.2 in the Oculus app to give a resolution of 4480 by 2256 and finally here are my in-game graphical settings as I go through Riverwood which is one of the more demanding sections of the game. So with that out of the way let's take a look. Immersed Robot so here we are with the first test running at 90Hz in Airlink at that default resolution of 3712 by 1872 and you can see from the Oculus performance overlay at the top that there is quite a big general uh, performance headroom percentage there. There are occasional dips as we go through Riverwood here but generally it's running fantastically well at these default settings. And then in this second test I try 120Hz in Oculus Airlink running at the default resolution of 3200 by 1632 and you can see the headroom, the performance headroom on that Oculus overlay at the top is now much lower so it's struggling a little bit more here although we do maintain 120 frames per second for a majority of the time it does obviously drop down a lot more than it would do with the 90Hz uh, setting but generally it's running really well still on this and um, you know it's perfectly playable if you don't mind the occasional dips here and there but they're not really too frequent anyway but you can see that we do occasionally drop into reprojection running at 60 frames per second rather than the native 120. And then finally here I decide to go back to that 90Hz setting but this time increasing resolution to 4480 by 2256 just to give a slightly sharper image in Airlink and it looks fantastic and performance is still very good as well. We're getting similar sort of performance headroom as we were running at that default resolution in 120Hz. So overall this is probably a good way to play if you like that slightly sharper image and performance is still maintaining those 90 frames per second pretty well for the most part again no matter what happens you will always get occasional dips in this game as you move from section to section but uh, overall we're running pretty solid at 90 frames per second
So that's pretty much it for this very quick test. I just wanted to give you a general idea of what kind of performance you can expect in Skyrim, especially one lightly modded as mine is. And you can probably enjoy this same performance even if you add a few more mods in there. Um, they all carry sort of performance hits to varying degrees, so you'll have to experiment a little bit more with the specific mods you want to use. But overall, you can get this game running really well in Air Link. And in fact, I actually probably run this game a majority of the time in Air Link now, um, simply because I get such great performance with it um, and it looks fantastic too. So see what you think, let me know in comments how you get on with this game in Airlink and uh, I'll see you next time. Please consider supporting Immerse Robot on Patreon or joining the Discord or following me on Twitter or better yet all of the above. Links in the description below.